Hello and welcome. My name is Brandon, and in this Statistics 101 video, we will learn about something called Mallow's C, which is a measure we can use to evaluate and compare regression models. And in this video, we will calculate it by hand. So let's go ahead and get started. So if you perform a best subsets regression in some software, in this case, we're looking at JUMP or JMP, you will often find a column or a table or something like that that has a measure denoted by C lowercase p, C sub p, or something similar. So here is the last column on the right. Now, as you can see in this case, we have several models with the same number of variables. So we have some one variable models, we have some two variable models, some three variable models, and then the full model is the four variable model at the very bottom. So on the right, we have all of these numbers under the C sub p or the Mallow's C column. Well, what does it mean? How do we use them? How do we use them to compare models? Which one's the best? And so on and so forth. So that is what this video is about. So what is Mallow's C? Now we'll say that you will see it as C sub P or C lowercase p and whatever you're using. I'm just gonna say Mallow's C for the sake of brevity in this video. It is a measure for evaluating and comparing regression models. It's similar in usage to other model evaluation techniques such as the adjusted R square, the standard error of the regression, which is the same thing as the root mean square error, which is the same thing as just S. You will see it denoted all of those things and sometimes something even different in computer software, but those are the same thing. You'll also see the AIC and AICC, which is the Akaike information criterion. You'll see the BIC, which is the Bayes information criterion, and so on and so forth. These are all techniques that we can use to evaluate and compare regression models. Now what it does is it estimates the magnitude of bias, in this case prediction error, present in predicted values when important features are missing. So we're measuring large residuals. So remember, if the model doesn't fit the data very well, if the predictions are way off, you will have large residuals. So we're measuring the bias or the prediction error using Mallow's C. It's not used blindly, but in context with the other measures above and some domain knowledge. So often you will have a full table that has all of this information in it like we had before. And it will be up to you, the analyst, to use not one, but this suite of measures. So adjusted R square may tell us one thing, the standard error of the regression may tell us another thing, the AIC and the BIC may tell us a different thing, or they may all tell us the same thing. So we have to use them all in context and treat them all as a suite of techniques for deciding on our final model. And of course, you have to use domain knowledge. Even if Mallow's C generates the quote best model, but the variables in that model do not really make sense in the real world, that's something that you have to keep in mind as you are deciding on which model or models to use. So the full model in Mallow C contains all feature variables that are under consideration. The subscript K is used to denote the full model with all K features present. The reduced models usually come from best subsets regression, like we saw before. The subscript P is used to denote the reduced model with a subset of P features present. In the intro example, K was four. So at the very bottom of that list, we had four variables in the model. Those were all four variables under consideration to build the model, therefore K is four. And of course, P could be any subset. So zero, technically speaking, and or one, two, or three, like we saw. So those are all the reduced models. Luckily for us, to understand the calculation for Mallow C, we only need a few things from computer output, even Excel for that matter could do this. We will need the MSE sub K and the SSE sub P. We'll talk more about those here in a second. So Mallow's C has a maximum value. The full model with all features present will always have a value of P plus one. Therefore, if a model has four feature variables, the full model will have a value of exactly five, which is P plus one. And we can see that in the computer output below. So if we go down, we will see that we have all four feature variables in the model, which is square footage, 
exemplary high school, bath, number of bathrooms, number of beds. Again, this is data where we are predicting house prices. So those four variables are under consideration and the Milo's C value is exactly five, which is P four plus one, so five. Luckily, Mallow C is easy to calculate. It looks like this. So Mallow C equals SSE sub P divided by MSE sub K plus two times the quantity P plus one minus N. So in this case, SSE sub P is the sum of squared errors for the reduced model. MSE sub K is the mean square error for the full model. P is the number of feature variables in the reduced model under consideration, and N is just the number of observations in the model. So we only need those four things, and we can get all of them from Excel or from any other stats software package. So how do we use Mallow's C for selection? In best subsets regression, we're looking for the reduced model that is closest to P plus one approaching from above. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, here's our output. First thing we need to do is actually eliminate the one at the bottom. That is the full model. We're not considering that under Mallow C. I'll put a line through it. First, let's determine our target value of P plus one for each combination of feature variables. So in the first case, we have all of our one variable models. So in this case, P, which is one plus one is two. So ideally, the Mallow's C value for those models would be two. Now for the next, it would be three. We have two feature variables plus one, so P plus one equals three. And then below that, three plus one is four. So those are the targets or the ideal values for Mallow's C. So let's look at what we got. For our one variable models, the lowest value for Mallow's C we have is 44.8524. For the two variable models, which is two plus one or three is our target, the lowest Mallow C we have is 14.0432. And then for the three variable models, of course, plus one, so our target is four. The lowest value we have there is 4.1499. Now, is 44.8524 close to two? No. Is 14.0432 close to three? No. Is 4.1499 close to four? Well, yes. So there is how we would select our best model. So how do we calculate Mallow C by hand? First, we need the full model. So here are the summary statistics for the full model. We can see that we have all four variables entered. We have the square footage of the home, whether or not it's an exemplary high school district, number of bathrooms, and number of bedrooms. So that is our full model. Then we have the reduced model that we saw in the previous slide with those three variables in it. Again, we have all the same measures, except in this case, the number of bedrooms is left out of the model. So how do we calculate this? First, we need the MSE sub K. Remember, that's the mean square error of the full model. Well, to get that, we take the root mean square error, square it, so we undo the root, we square it, and that equals 39.208865 squared, which in this case, is 1,537.335. So to get the MSE sub K, using the jump output, we squared the root mean square error to get 1,537.335. So we have that. Now we need the SSE sub P, which is the sum of squared errors for the reduced model. In this case, we just look on the output. It's 147814.61. We pulled that right out of the output in the lower left. Now we have 100 observations. We knew that from the previous videos, but you can also see that from the DFE. So DFE is just 96 plus the three variables plus one. We know we have 100 observations, but again, it's the same data we've been using. P equals three, because we have three variables in the model. Now we just do the algebra. So here is the formula. We substitute everything in. So for SSE sub P, we have 147814.61 divided by MSE sub K, 1537.335 plus two times the quantity P plus one, which is three plus one, which is four, minus 100. We'll go ahead and do that out and we get the value 
of 4.1499, which is the same thing we have in the output over here in the lower left in the blue square. And that is how we calculate Mallow's C. If you found this video helpful, please share it with classmates, colleagues, or friends, or anyone else you think might benefit from watching. So that wraps up this video on Mallow C. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again in the next video. Take care, and bye-bye.